So someone who is considering either a non-surgical or surgical facelift, what's the first step they should take? They should see a board-certified plastic surgeon uh, who has experience with both techniques and who understands uh, them, you know, because the most important thing I do in, in a consultation is find out what the patient's expectations are, what their particular needs are. So they're going to be have a downtime for a day after this procedure. They're not just going to go right out to work right. after having this. So right. they have to at least give me that day. And then there could be some swelling there about 48 hours, and then they're going to be fine. They can put makeup over the whole deal, and that's it. The risk of infection is very small. But when you do a facelift, you know, patients really have to devote five to ten days to the recovery. And it takes a few weeks till they're feeling themselves again. You know, because it is a surgical procedure, even though it is a nip and tuck, so to speak, it, it's a procedure. And I do do limited nips and tucks as well for those things which, you know, have very, very quick recovery time. I mean, I've had doctors go back to work the same day after a facelift, but I don't recommend it. You know, I recommend that people yeah. take the time to recover and rest for a period of time. Cool. They can take phone calls uh, on, their, on their phones and talk to people and uh, read books or listen to books, uh, but you know, take it easy. You, know? <laughs> you gotta, gotta, gotta give it time to heal. You can't yeah, just... of course, of course. Yeah. Awesome, well thanks for sharing that insight.